What's up guys, it's Elan here and welcome back to another iCloud Bypass video. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through a comprehensive guide on how to use EUX Pro to bypass iCloud activation lock on iPhones and iPads running on E11 chipset and below. All necessary files or tools used in this video will be available to download in the description box below. You begin by unpacking or unzipping the EUX Pro and connect your device on normal mode or on the activation lock screen. Click Read Device Info if your device is not showing up from the software. Copy your ECID number from the software and then you register with the link that I'll provide in the description box below. This is a paid software. Once the registration process is completed, let's try to generate activation file. The tool will throw a pop-up asking you to change the serial number of your iPhone or iPad to a certain unique serial authorized by the tool, which I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a second. So once you register, you just click on Hello SN Change and then you choose, you click on Generate Activation File. And then once you click that, you are going to see a message like this, which simply means that you just need to change your serial number. To change the serial number, depending on the type of system you are having or you are running, the process can be pretty straightforward or a bit complicated, which I'm going to make it simple for you guys to follow. It all starts with another tool called Magic CFG. In order to write a new serial, we need to put the device into DFU mode or device firmware upgrade mode. So to do that, we are going to head over back to the AUS Pro and then you click on Ramdix passcode option and then you are going to see the DFU helper from the AUS Pro software. So you are going to be using the DFU helper to um, put the device into DFU mode. You can also put the device into DFU mode manually. Um, but I, I want to make everything simple for you guys. So let's use the DFU helper. So you just click on the DFU helper. Whilst your device is in normal mode, click enter recovery mode. And then you wait for the device to enter into the recovery. All right. So once the device is in recovery, click start. Follow the on-screen instruction to put, to put the device into DFU mode or device firmware upgrade mode all right sure so from the aus pro the device is already detected in dfu mode so you see it says your device is successfully in dfu mode so you let's minimize the aus pro and head over to the magic uh, cfg software so let's launch the magic cfg tool this uh, magic cfg tool is also available for the mac users i'll show you guys how to use the same software for the mac users as well so you, you right click on your windows icon right here and then click on device manager or you can just click device manager right from the magic cfg scroll all the way down till you see your device connected in dfu mode and you click on the driver you have to make sure the driver is shown as this shown exactly as you see in the video otherwise you right click on it and uninstall or you can also use three U tools to fix the driver, which I'll show you guys in a second. So from three U tools, you click on tools, iTunes utility, repair, driver, advanced, and then you click uninstall. If you click uninstall, it doesn't, it doesn't fix the driver, and then you fully repair the entire driver on your um, system. Back to the Magic CFG, you copy the ECID number of your device, click on the free link that is available from the software, You'll be brought to this website you scroll down and then you scroll all the way down and then you paste the ecid here you wait for some few seconds i think 30 seconds or, or so and then um, a submit button will be available for you to submit the ecid to register for free all right so that's all the registration is completed now let's head over back to the magic cfg and then you click on boot purple If all the drivers are okay, the booting process is going to be successful. Otherwise, it will throw you an error, which simply means that there's a problem with your drivers or the connection between the software and then the, the tool. So you just click on install. If this pops up, just click install. So the, the booting process is successful. As you can see from the screen, it says successful. You have to see this option saying successful. Yeah, so the purple booting is completed, as you can see on the screen. Now, um, I'll pause here and continue with the same process 
on Mac OS where I'll actually write the new serial number. It's the same process with almost same user interface but a bit more faster and easier than on Windows. So let's head over to the Mac OS and proceed there. So is it the same thing? You can just follow the same step that I'll be using on the Mac um, OS. So here we are on the Mac OS and then from 3U tools you can see my iPhone 10 is connected in DFU mode. And then let's launch the Magic CFG software. So this is the interface, it's very simple user interface, just like the Windows one. Like I said earlier, our device is still connected in DFU mode. So let's go ahead and boot into purple mode and then write the serial. So the, pr the process is pretty straightforward for the Mac. It doesn't require any driver fixing all those back and forth. Uh, you can follow the same steps here to boot, uh, to boot or write the serial, okay? So click boot purple mode and then you are going to tick this option if you have DCSD. Otherwise, leave the option and then click boot purple mode. So you wait for the purple booting to be completed. One of the features that I don't like about this tool is that once the booting is completed, it's not going to close this fold or this tab here and iTunes keep popping up. All right, so the booting process is completed for the, for the Mac. It's very simple and, and fast. So just click on, just close this, all right? So from the port selection, you are going to select the device or our iPhone that is connected. If you don't see your iPhone, just click on the refresh button. You are going to see the device connected. Just click connect and then click read sys CFG, which stands for system configuration. So it's going to read the system um, configuration. All the partitions are going to be read it. And then you are going to click on backup cfg so you're going to back up the system configuration and then once you're done with the backup paste the serial number here the serial number that the tool instructed us to write and then you click write all right so that's all you have you are done with the change of the serial number so this is the same process you use to change serial number on iphones so once you're done you just click on factory reset and they are going to go ahead and factory reset the entire device so once the factory reset process is completed then you are going to go ahead and proceed with the iCloud bypass all right so if you have a Mac this process is going to be a pretty straightforward process it's not going to be complicated unlike Windows that uh, you have to fix some drivers all right all right so let's head over to uh, the Windows so that we can proceed with the bypass all right so we are back on Windows for the final step which is activation of the device to do that let's launch AUS Pro one more time All right, so, so once the tool launches, like I said earlier, if your device info is not being displayed, just click read device info and then wait for the tool to display. So you just click OK. And then from the software, you can see the serial number that we have changed is showing. You can see if you click now, you click on hello, change SN, hello, change SN. There are two options here which look uh, identical. So you just choose the correct one. So you can see the serial matches what the tool instructed us to do. So we've successfully changed the serial. Now you click on this tab here, yeah. Then choose this, and then click generate files. Follow the steps correctly, okay? Now the generation is successfully. The tool says pawn DFU, boot RAM disk, and activate. How do we do that? Let's head over to the RAM disk tab here. Click DFU helper. Click enter recovery. Wait for the device to enter into recovery mode. Okay, so the device is in recovery mode right now. So you click start, hold the keys to put the device into DFU mode. Before we do that, let's head over to the device manager one more time and make sure that the driver is okay to prevent any driver issues, okay? Because with Windows, you can even restart the laptop and then or your PC and then the driver will, drivers will just mess up, okay? So it's normal. Click start, hold the keys and then you boot, you put the device into DFU. All right, so the device is in DFU mode. Click OK. Now let's begin. We first need to pawn the device. You can choose between pawn gaster and then pawn check emit. I'll go with the pawn gaster. 
if you try this and it fails, you try the other one. But anytime you try and it fails, cross check the driver if it is okay before you try the second. Otherwise, fix the driver before you proceed. So I'm going with the pawn gaster. So you just click on pawn gaster, all right? And then wait for the device to pawn. This is going to take some time. During this process, don't disconnect or uh, disrupt the connection. The pawn is successful. So you can see this is, the tool says successfully pawn. Okay. So the next thing we are, we are going to do is to choose the iOS version of our device and then boot RAM decks. Okay. Now this is an iPhone 10 running on iOS 16. So you just uh, choose from the tab here, choose the iOS version. If you have an iPad, you choose the iPad. If you, are not running, if you have an iPhone that is running on iOS 12 to 15, you choose that option. Click boot RAM disk. This process is going to um, take some time to download the boot file for your device. Depending on your internet speed, it will take some time, okay? So once the uh, downloading is completed, it's going to boot the RAM disk, all right? Okay, so from the software, uh, it's almost done. It says the Ramdix booting is successfully. So the device is in Ramdix mode right now. Let's go ahead and inject the spoofed activation record that we've saved or we've uh, created. Okay. So you check, you check, check on this iOS version and click mount fix. So one more time, you choose your iOS version. I'm running on iOS 16, iPhone 10. You click mount fix. That is the final thing you click before we activate. It says mounted successfully. So they successfully mounted. Okay. So the final thing we are going to do is to click on hello change SN. One more time, click this and then click activate hello. And that's all. We have successfully activated iPhone 10 by changing serial number using AUS Pro and Magic CFG. Once the, uh, the bypass process is completed, the device might boot back into recovery mode. Don't panic. Just click on more tools, click exit recovery, and then wait for the device to boot up. It's going to boot up and skip straight to the home screen. So all the activation and everything is going to be skipped. And then the setup is also going to be skipped straight to the home screen. And then you are going to be able to start using your device as a fresh device. I hope you find this video very useful. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Till then, peace out.